Hi, I'm Lorna from wearablyweird.com and in this video I'll be answering Do Doc Martens run big? Now this is a question I was wondering for myself when shopping for Doc Martens because I really hate wasting money and I really hate the hassle of returns and these boots aren't cheap so you're going to want to make sure you're getting the right size for you but also I wanted to know how they were going to fit on different parts of the foot so it'd be all well and good if they were perfect on the toe box, but then bad if they ran big on the heel or ran big on the calf or on the instep. So I'm going to cover all of that in this video and explain how the boots fit on different parts of the feet so you can get as good of an idea as possible before you buy your own pair. And I'm going to include a really cool size guide for you so you can measure your own feet against a chart I have on my blog and you can make sure you're getting the perfect size and not wasting your money. So let's just jump straight into it and answer the question. Most Doc Martens fit true to size for those who aren't an in-between size. However, the classic boots tend to run a little bit big. If you are an in-between size, consider sizing down a size or wear a pair of extra thick socks or an insole with your Docs. Personally, I find Doc Martens fit great for me. Now, I'm a UK size 6, which is an American women's size 8, and there's plenty of wiggle room on the toe box for me. The heel doesn't run big, it fits true to size and doesn't slide around. The instep is a little bit high for me, but I like that because I really hate rubbing on top of my feet. Um, and it fits my ankle slash calf really well. So. I don't mind that the boots run slightly big because I always wear super chunky socks with them so my true size is perfect for me. Now if you're looking for some sizing advice on specific dock models like the sandals or the Chelsea boots or the Jadens, I have an entire blog post on my website, the link is in my description and it covers all the sizing for the different models of boots because there are some variations across the Doc Martens range. As promised in the beginning of this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can accurately measure your feet before purchasing a pair of Doc Martens to make sure you get the ideal size for you. So what you'll need is a sheet of paper, a pencil and some measuring tape or a ruler and to pop your foot on the piece of paper like I'm about to show you. So what we're going to do is measure our feet by marking the longest part of our foot with a, pe with a pencil <laughs> and the where the heel marks as well with a pencil. Make sure you put the pencil right against your heel or your toe. And then you can do this with some socks on or with your bare feet. I always like to do it with socks because I always am going to be wearing socks when I wear Doc Martens. So after that, take your foot off and you're just going to measure the distance in between the two marks to get your measurement in inches or centimeters. Then what you wanna to wanna to do is go onto my blog post, which the link's in the description, and there is an entire size chart there available to tell you what Doc Martin's size you'll be. If you're already in the post and you're watching this video embedded, just keep scrolling down to find it. <laughs> 